We're joined now by Bailey Wide Receivers coach Frisman Jackson. Coach Jackson, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Excited to be here and be around all these Texas high, high school football coaches. Well, we're honoring you today as part of our 40 under 40. How have you managed to kind of have the career that you've managed to have at such a young age? Um, just being blessed, man, about being around the right people, um, learning the game from the right people, um, having great players. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I, I had a great – great uh, high school coach I had a great college coach um, and I've had great position coaches when I've coached in, when I played in the NFL and and all those guys were gave me an example of what it meant to be a coach and and so uh, I've learned from them and I was able to pick up from where they left off what have you been able to add to your coaching ability uh, just from your year in the NFL um <laughs> it's funny PJ talked about it in his speech uh, PJ Fleck talked about it Minnesota head coach talked about it and I played with PJ in college he was my college teammate um, but he talked about the why and when I got to the NFL, the players asked why. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we running this route like that? And you better have a, you better have an answer for them, or they, they're not going to they're not going to play for you. And so um, I learned how to answer the why, which I didn't know how to answer back back when I first started coaching. And that year in the NFL gave me a lot of insight on you know how to manage players, uh, how to answer that why question, and how to motivate guys. When you look at the wide receivers that you've been able to coach at Baylor, uh, let's start with Jalen Hurd. Um, you know, he just comes in place for one year at wide receiver, gets drafted into the NFL. What was it really that made Jalen special? Um, Jalen was one of the hardest working practice players I've been around. Um, I've I got several guys in the NFL, and they probably beat me up if I if, by saying this, but he was the hardest working practice player I ever had. Um, you never had to twist his arm about, hey, man, let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. He wanted to be great. Uh, he knew his time was going, dwindling as a college player, and he had he knew he had a little time to prove that he could play receiver. And so every day he went out there to get better, and he did that. Yeah. Well, another guy, Denzel Mims, uh, coming back for his senior season. Uh, you know, how has he grown since you've started working with him? Um, the biggest thing, because the football part, Denzel, he's pretty much figured out. It's just building all the other things, the confidence, the um, confidence building up the work ethic, uh, those things. And he's gotten better and better. Um, for him, if he can put it all together, it's no reason why he can't be a th first three rounds pick. Um, and I'm expecting him to, and Coach Rule is expecting me to get him to where he needs to be. But um, he, he can be a heck of a player for us, a heck of a player in the Big 12. Um, and he just got to put it all together, and I think he's been doing that this summer. Awesome. Well, when it comes to Coach Matt Rule, uh, you know, since he's come into this state, he's really managed to make an impression both on high school coaches and on other college coaches. What is it about Coach Rule that you think sort of makes him able to do that so easily? Um, he is who he is. Uh, you know what you're going to get with him. Uh, he's straightforward. He's honest. Um, he tells it like it is. And I think as a man and as a coach and as a player, you want a coach that's honest and upfront with you. And um, sometimes it's hard to hear. I mean, I've coached for a long time, and he gets on me and critiques me, and it's constructive criticism, but it's hard to hear. But I understand where it's coming from, and it's made me a better coach. And I think it's made our players better by on being honest and open with our players, and he stressed that with us. And I think he's done that in recruiting. He's done that as far as uh, football is, is, is concerned. And when you do those type of things, people appreciate that. Yeah, when, when you look at this 2019 Baylor offense, where do you expect to see the most growth? Um... You know, uh, with all positions, I think I was having a conversation with one of our coaches today, and I just said if every position just did a little bit more, got a little bit better, my position at receiver, we didn't drop ten passes, we, we dropped two. Um, but if every position got better, uh, we can be in a highly explosive offense, we can be one of the best offenses in the country. And we started to show that towards the end of the year. And um, if we can continue to do that and pick up where we left off, and everybody just doing their part, and everybody just doing their job, we can be pretty special. Okay, last question. Uh, in the city of Waco, you know, you've been here a year now. What are sort of your local places that you think that everybody needs to hit up? <laughs> oh, man. Um, so I go to this place called uh, Stoneheart. It's an Indian, it's Indian cafe. Okay. It's Indian food, and it's phenomenal. I go there probably two or three times a week. <laughs> um let me see what else. Uh, D's Mediterranean. Okay. It's a Mediterranean place. Um, that's that's mainly it. Uh, and my favorite Mexican spot uh, is a food truck. Okay. 
I can't think of the name. I just know how to get there. <laughs> but those three places, you see I'm into the culture. I, I, I oh, gave you good, all good. different three types of culture. <laughs> Uh, those three places are some of the best places that I've ate at Waco. Um, now, all the rest, I don't want to inf- offend anybody in Waco. All the <laughs> restaurants are good. But if my back against the wall and you told me to choose three, <laughs> those are three I would choose. Well, as you know, I, I'm a Baylor grad, so people who keep hating on Waco, <laughs> there's some spots to try out, so don't tell me it's a bad food city, Max. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us, Coach, and, uh, and we'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome.